A question that will get asked by most Mirror users is, how hard is it to switch from Mirror to Fish Networking? The short answer, not very, but will require replacing some code. Most of these changes can be done using the replace feature in your IDE. I also have an upgrading section in the documentation. I won't go over this page in the video since it's publicly available, but you will see me using information available on this page. Mirror is naturally already imported and I also imported Fish Networking. I moved the tanks demo out of the Mirror folder so it's not destroyed when I remove Mirror. We are going to start by using the component replacement tool included with Fish Networking, but before we need to make a quick change to some files. We need to get rid of the require component network identity attribute. I opened up the network behavior file because I know it's at the top of this file. I copied the require component text and I will replace it with empty throughout my entire solution. I got to this menu in Visual Studio by using Control plus Shift plus H. Now I will hit replace all and you'll see that it will replace two sections going to hit OK, save the files, and then go ahead and close out of this. Now I can replace components. This will remove a variety of mirror components and switch them out with fish networking ones. I strongly encourage you to make a backup of your project, especially in another location so you can view the differences should your conversion require any additional work. I'm going to use the upgrading menu of fish networking. After clicking fish networking, choose upgrading from mirror and then replace components. If you did not replace the required component text in all of your files, you will see the highlighted error. This message is from when I tried replacing components before the attribute change, so I can safely ignore it. A printout is shown of how many of each component were replaced, and also a warning notify you to use file and save to complete the changes. Let's go ahead and click file, and then save now. If you do still see the error message about being unable to remove the network identity component, you'll likely have to go to assets, reimport all, and then run the upgrade tool again. This is a Unity bug, so you may or may not experience it depending on your version. I selected the tank prefab to show you the changes have been made automatically. The network identity script is gone and the fish networking equivalent components have been added. We are about ready to perform some code changes. First, let's get rid of mirror. Using the upgrade menu again, this time choose remove the finds and you'll probably get some errors after this. Ignore the errors and delete the mirror folder. Once the mirror folder is deleted, you'll begin to see errors in your code. This is where the code changes come in. It's going to look a bit scary at first, but these changes can go pretty quick. A couple months ago, I converted a two-year project from Mirror to Fish Networking in about three hours. Let's begin. Many of these are simply adding the using namespace at the top of your file. So I'm going to go under Network Behavior and then click using fishnet.object, go under SyncVare, using fishnet.object.synchronizing. There is no local player per se in Fish Networking because you are not required to have a player object. So instead, we'll use base dot is owner, basically saying if we are the owner of this object, then go ahead and continue the movement checks. I click the error window to see what further errors I have, and I see command attribute. So I'm going to go ahead and do another quick replace. With command, I'm going to copy it and again do the control H command, and I'm going to replace that with server RPC, which is the fish networking equivalent, and then click replace all. I have one for client RPC as well. I'm going to replace client RPC with observers RPC, observers being plural, and then go ahead and replace all. In mirror, you spawn using network server.spawn. In fish networking, if the script you're using inherits from network behavior, you may use base.spawn, and like always, passing in the instantiated object. If your script does not inherit from network behavior, you can use your own reference to the server manager or use the reference finder by typing instance finder and add the using fishnet dot server manager dot spawn and again passing in the instantiated object. It's the best practice to use the reference within the script when possible, so I'm going to keep the base call and remove the others. Next is the server callback attribute, which personally was always hard to remember in Mirror. This attribute means that only the server can run the logic in that method, which isn't entirely the confusing part, but that if a client tries to run the logic, it will fail silently. While if you use the server attribute, the client would still not run the logic, but a warning would also be thrown. The difference between those really never made sense to me. In fish networking, there is only the server attribute, and by default logging is set to warn the user when called on client. You can use the logging field in the attribute to turn logging off or change the logging type. I set logging off as that's how it was in the mirror version. It looks like we have just one more error below, so I'm going to go down to that, and it is network server.destroy. The fish networking variant is actually a little bit easier. Instead of calling network server.destroy, we'll just call base.despawn, and this will work on any object which inherits from network behavior. 
Calling base.despawn will remove the current object. If you want to despawn a different object or if your script does not inherit from network behavior, like before, you may use instancefinder.servermanager.despawn, passing in the game object or network object script reference you wish to despawn. That's all the errors in this script. I saved my file and I'm now going back to the editor. It looks like we have more errors related to the mirror upgrade class. This is because mirror snuck its defines back into the player settings. I'm going to use the upgrade tool again, fish networking, upgrading, from mirror, and again remove defines. Seems that took care of the errors. If for some reason it did not, go to your project settings, player, other settings, and remove the mirror defines from here. The remaining errors look somewhat familiar to what we just covered, so let's go over those real quick. Let's go through this a little bit quicker. Going to go ahead and add support for the network behavior by using fishnet.object. I'm going to change the network server.destroy to base.destroy or base.despawn. And I'm going to do the same thing for the on trigger enter here, base.despawn instead of network server.destroy. And remembering that server callback is the one without logging, I will change that to server and set the logging to logging type dot off. The mirror server attribute has logging on, which is the default for the server attribute in fish networking, so I won't change that. Let me go ahead and save and then go back to my project. That's it for the script errors, and we already converted the prefabs earlier. One final change remains, which is using the fish networking network manager. If I select Mare's network manager in the scene, you'll see it's missing scripts, which is expected. I'm going to just go ahead and delete the network manager object from the scene. And then I'm going to type in network manager under my project tab. And you can see I have a prefab here. I'll just go ahead and drop it in. And I want to add the spawn points to this one as well. So I'm going to lock it here in the editor and then select all of my spawns and just drop them into the spawns collection. I mentioned that no player object is required, but the network manager prefab does come with an example player spawner. I'm going to drop the tank prefab into that field. Unlocking the inspector, I will remove the missing scripts from the mirror spawn points. You may also notice that the spawnable prefabs field is a scriptable object. There are several ways to manage spawnable prefabs to your liking, but by default, Fish Networking creates a default prefab objects file. When I turn off the inspector lock and select that file, you can see that it already has prefab which can be spawned over the network. This file is generated automatically. I have a build up as client and editor as host, and as you can see, everything is working perfectly. So our conversion appears to be complete. 